difference. They'll just make you dizzy while you stop still, trying to catch up with you and keep <laughs> your eyes on them because they're so fast. The Russians just want to break you in half. It's, it's quite comical, the difference of styles throughout the different countries from the east to the west of Europe. I don't know which one I would want to be, dizzy from looking <laughs> at somebody and worn out by exhaustion just watching someone's work ethic or broken by the feel of somebody's biceps on you, I don't know. Nineteen years of age, this Italian. So they've got a really young team in, really. The other one was only eighteen, and yes, this it's one's nineteen. It's not nineteen. So it's like the junior team that they've put out in almost. Two very young boys in this weight category. Nineteen and eighteen, and um, this young man from Italy, third place in the under 20 European Championships this year in the juniors and also quite a lot of Italian events and junior events under 20s, second and third places throughout. Very, very impressive. World Cup in Rome, third place this year. So again, that's a nice tidy result for a 19-year-old. And just now play, playing well. Three drops in Agis, but he, he was warned by Shido for passivity. But from the point he was warned, he, he, he put some Lock into the fire. <laughs> yep, warmed himself up a little bit. Very, very tight match indeed. The Italian does look more the, the feistier fighter. A little bit more energy, still got... Shido been awarded to both of these athletes now, so, but that's the second one for the Italian, which now puts a Yuko on the board for the Lithuanian. Not a good position to be in. Klovkov, 20 years of age, just one year older to the Italian, a little bit more experience, Lithuanian champion, minute and 20 seconds to go in this match, the Lithuanian still leading with that Yuko, which was accumulation of Shido's, been awarded to Di Loreto.
Oh, a lovely oh, drop so there. Nice. That was great entry there from the Italian. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the third round for women, under 57 kilo, Tatami won. A chance to see again Manon Durba from Luxembourg in white. Her opponent, the bronze medalist, are the Just other accumulation three. there of drops the by both of these athletes. The pressure on 15 Lula seconds to go, and the Italian really has to pull it out somehow. Shudo been awarded that evens it all up now so a Yuko on the board each and it looks like this could go to golden score now and I'm quite pleased about that because the, the actual work that Di Loretto has done right throughout this match deserved him to get that second chance rather than just leaving it to Shudo's accumulation of Shudo's because I think both of these athletes are capable of throwing so they have a chance. So now it's open. <laughs> They've got the golden score. It's down to these guys to take control and now win this match for themselves. Di Loreto, 19 years of age, still a junior. And um, the Lithuanian Klokov is 21, 20, 20 years of age. Yeah, so he's just out of the juniors. And what a great level, what a quality of performance that they've given for the under-23s. Great match for these two young athletes. And still very young athletes. Yes, they still, they're just starting. Another two or three years. Yes. Two and three years in the weight Got uh, two, Oli two Olympic Games, haven't they, when you think about it, at 20 and 28, 28. The two Olympic Games, brilliant. 24 and 28. Great, great potential for the Italian team there. They obviously are concentrating quite a lot on the their young for the future development of um, their senior athletes and senior Olympic team. Great position to be in that you can produce a team of such youngsters and, and be able to compete on a par with some of the more mature athletes that are here today. Again, a tough one for the referees if it goes to the end of time. If three minutes pass and there's no score. Very, very difficult one for them to call. But still, two minutes, then two minutes, 13 seconds left. Yes. And and on, on plenty of time for both of them plenty, to score. Yeah. Mm, definitely. There still no. seems to be a lot of energy. A lot of fuel in the tank for the Italian. He's still going forward. He's, he's like a train going downhill. The steam's coming out of him now, but um, the pressure is there. Another drop there from the Lithuanian. He's got to be careful there. He'll mm. pick up a penalty if he both continues. Both of them has to be careful. Yes. And in it's <laughs> the drops are on both sides. Yes. Di Loreto has also dropped without no he, action, but... Yeah, he looks the stronger of the two and the, the fitter and the more dominant of the two. You see, that's a nice movement. There was movement there on that one. That so one when you compare one to one, it's... Now, I wonder why they're calling this together for... Uh, I don't know. I don't know, maybe... I don't think it was for the drop. No, they're going to no. let it go. Maybe for passivity. Defensive. A drop, but again, it was just so much off the mark where he dropped and landed. There was no real impact on it. There was movement, a bend, but that was about it. But the body language from the Italian is oozing right. I'm at it. I'm, I'm really wanting this. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. Uh, this oh. wasn't a good movement. It w he moved, but it did look a bit dodgy. It was close. Very, very close. That could have gone horribly wrong for him. He doesn't need to be doing some silly moves like that. That was very adventurous, but um, it could have cost him dearly. That's <laughs> a poor drop. That's the same drop. situation. That's, That's a, a very poor drop. drop. Yeah. 
and I think this could cost him. No? No, no, no. Because he dropped in front of him. He didn't even get a chance to turn. I'm surprised they let that one go. Drops in. Oh, yes! Oh, lovely attack. Oh, that was a lovely finish, that. Excellent. Oh, that was really just sweet. Very, very sweet. So that sparkiness, that lightness on his feet, that action, that movement just paid off right at the end. Don't know if we can go back to that one, but uh, uh, finishing off. Maybe get another clip of that, because that was a superb finish. Oh, looking right off to the side as well. He could have lost the control by continuing forward, but he just switched it side on and just took him over and finished it off nice. Well done. That was a gr fantastic throw. And that's what you like to see at this level of tournament. Now we have from Turkey, Kaba in the white, and from Armenia, Ilvania in the blue. 